Hello. Um, my mother is 55, and um, she believes that she has a stomach ulcer. She went to the doctor, and she got tested negative for H. pylori, but they are giving her anything to help her with her symptoms. Okay, what are her symptoms? She has pain in her sternum, like uh, where her stomach meets her mm-hmm. esophagus. She has heartburn, indigestion, and nausea. Okay. And does your mom have any history of respiratory disease like bronchitis or asthma, COPD? No. Does she have any history of skin problems, eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, or dry skin? She has celiac disease. She has celiac disease? Yes. Okay. All right. Shara, are you there? I'm here, yes. Okay, what's going on here? Celiac disease is an extreme gluten intolerance. Yep. How much does your mom weigh, Melissa? 180. And how tall is she? Six foot. Oh, I bet she played volleyball or basketball. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. All right. Shara, what would you do for this? Lady who's six foot tall, I'd like to see her maybe 165. So at 180 is not that much overweight. She's maybe 15 pounds overweight. What would you do for her for all these digestive problems? She's got uh, skin problems. She's got uh, bloating, belching, burping. And the doctors tell her she's got celiac disease, but uh, no cardiovascular stuff, but she's in all this distress. They didn't give her any medication. What would you do for her? I would get her on a gluten-free diet immediately, of course, and that will eliminate a lot of her symptoms. And then I'd get her on two healthy um, uh, digestive packs. Okay. And what, in addition to the two healthy digestive packs, which is going to have the ultimate enzymes, and your mom will want to take one or two of those ultimate enzymes, say uh, one to two minutes for each meal, a couple ounces of water. What else would you add to her regimen to get rid of the bloating and burning? Um... She could Let's take pep- peppermint oil. Yeah, she get an A plus there. Um, get a couple of bottles a month of our little 10 ml bottles of peppermint oil from our ancient legacy division, which is our aromatherapy division, and have her put five or six drops of the peppermint oil in a coffee cup full of warm water and start sipping on that even before she takes her enzymes and all through the meal. Char, you've seen people who were belching every 30 seconds for 23 years. How long did it take the peppermint oil to get rid of the bloating? Less than 10 seconds. I mean, it was like immediate, wasn't it? Yep. Freaked everybody out <laughs> because she'd been suffering for so long. And in just 10 to 20 seconds, I mean, it was over. But you got to do this every meal. And uh, make sure that you salt your food because when you have these problems, you don't have enough stomach acid. It's not acid reflux. It's not enough stomach. It's lack of acid reflux. 